Hey, good morning. I thank y'all for taking the time to click on this video. This morning I'm fishing a tributary that I haven't fished before. And what's happened, the Arkansas River has, uh, has risen after some rains. And uh, the best place to go is a tributary try to find some crop because the tributary will settle down a lot quicker than the Arkansas River will. I'm going to be using this side imaging here to the scan and I'm going to try to go through and show y'all kind of how I, I search for this, this stuff. This is just an older unit right here. I'm going to use my side imaging and I've got 75 feet out to the left and to the right of this boat so I'm going to be covering about 150 feet of river bottom. Uh, sometimes when you go on navionics.com it doesn't really show the tributaries. Uh, how deep they are. It'll show them as being shallow, but uh, it's not true for the most part in what I found. So it's always good to actually come out and look at these uh, tributaries. So what I'm gonna do when I find something, I'll, uh, I'll go through here and I'll mark it and I'll just show you when we, whenever it happens. To cover a little bit more water and a little bit quicker, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna match, I'm gonna match my chart speed right here to my uh, engine speed. So I've got my chart speed at six, so I'm gonna try to maintain about six miles an hour. And I'm just, uh, this is called a, a rough pass where I've got quite a bit of water to cover. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna be going too slow because I don't know how long this may take, so. As we can see right down here, there's something down here, but I'm looking for something a little bit bigger than that right there. Something a little bit more impressive. There's probably some fish down there, but this is a good depth right here, 17 feet. I'm gonna go on up. I'm not gonna mark that. I'm gonna go on up and see what else I can find. Now here's a couple things right here that uh, that looks pretty interesting. Looks like we got a log laying down right down here. There's some fish hanging out around it. Uh, 17 feet of water. Uh, looks like this is really deep down in there, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mark it. But what I'd like to find is something that is, uh, looks like there's a couple of different things here. So there's one back here. I'm just gonna go ahead and mark all three of these. zoom in on that. Let's see what that looks like. There's a, like quite a bit of fish hanging out right there. Uh, Maybe may a school of bait fish. I don't really see any structure. But you never know. Yeah, I don't know that I marked that already. Alright. Alright, then I'm going to come on going down. Now this looks pretty interesting right here. Definitely see some, some big fish hanging out around it. I'm going to mark that right there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop my chart speed down. I'm going to go over this slower with down imaging. So, go down to chart speed. I'll put that down on about three. And, uh, I'm gonna go to down imaging right here. Actually, I'm gonna go to my chart. And here's my part, my uh, point that I marked right here. Here's my boat. So I'm just gonna turn around and go back over this and see what it looks like on down imaging at a slower speed. I'm sorry for the vibration here on this thing.
back to my down imaging right here. Stop, let's look at that right there. Let me just kill the motor. I'm gonna get rid of some of that vibration. You can definitely see some fish down in here. Quite a few fish hanging around it too, so. Uh, this is kind of what I look like. This is about 10 feet below the surface and I'm in 15 feet of water right there. So this is, I'm gonna fish this right here. So uh, the way I'm gonna have to do this is use my 2D sonar on here to, to pinpoint it. Okay, now I'm just gonna be on my trolling motor when I, when I pinpoint this thing. So uh, what I wanna find in here is my chart that shows me 2D plus my uh, my chart and the 2D sonar. So. Let's see if I can find it. There, that's not good. And that's what I'm looking for right there. We got 2D sonar on this side and then I've got my chart showing my point that I put down right there. So I'm just gonna go back over that and uh, throw my buoy out, pinpoint it with that 2D. And then uh, speed that you're going really doesn't matter on this. So. Uh, one thing on this, uh, on your beam select, you want it at the highest frequency that you have because that's going to give you a narrower cone angle for being able to locate your your uh, waypoint. And uh, the way this works on this unit, for every two feet down is a one diameter uh, circle on the bottom. So, for instance, if I'm in 20 feet of water on the bottom, I'm going to have a 10 foot diameter cone. The bottom of that cone is going to be 10 foot diameter. So, the narrower uh, the better it is to pinpoint. There I can see my waypoint, so I'm just going to head right straight towards it. One thing about using the 2D is uh, as soon as it goes over, over the top of it, you're going to see it on the screen. So Okay. And there it is right there. Whatever that is. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw that down right down there. All right, that looks pretty pretty impressive right there. So uh, that's 17 feet of water, and it looks like the bottom of it or the top of it's about probably about 10 feet deep. So I'm gonna stop fishing. Let's see what I can catch. And I'm just gonna work my way around this buoy till I find a bite. Once I find a bite, you know, in relation to that buoy, I'll remember where it is. It's a lot of times they'll like to hold up in the same spot on a brush pile. Here we go. That crappie hit that hard. Not a real big crappie, but let's see what time it is. So I started out about, I don't know, about 6 a.m. is when I launched the boat. At seven o'clock, about an hour later, I've got my first crappie. And I've said it before, as long as it's legal, you can, you can there ain't nothing wrong with keeping these right here and either uh, cooking them whole or get you a small knife and filet them. Nothing wrong with it in the world. If you need crappie, 
There's plenty of those swimming around. Oh. Well, all right. What we got on here? Ooh. Now, now we're talking. Goodness gracious, what's wrong with that fish? We think he is a bass? Man, I'm gonna try to lip him. Tuck her out just, just a little bit, I guess. That's a pretty decent crop if I can get him in the boat. There we go. Kind of got wrapped around his fin. That's a good crop either. Open up, boy. <laughs> There we go. Well, there is a big ones down there. Look at that, that's nice. Man, what a crappie. Crappie thinks he must, he's a bass. Let me get a measure on him. Man, that's a nice one. Big one hanging out down there with all them little ones. Man, he's right at 14 inches. I don't know if we can see that or not. But... Oh, yeah. Come on in here, Mr. Aggressive. That's another little decent crappie. Go right back down there. Tell your friends. Free rise to the surface. In the summertime, I like to fish early in the morning just to beat that heat. I think the crappie bite better during the morning hours rather than when the <clears throat> sun gets up at a high angle in the sky. Here we go. That's a little bit better one. There's one. <laughs> Look at that. A decent one. I really didn't feel that one on there till I lifted my pole up. I just want to thank y'all for tuning in and watching this if y'all have made it this far. And I want to thank God for giving me the opportunity to come out here and and fish and to uh, and to share His Word and. Uh, and of course, I want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for uh, taking the penalty for all of my sins. And uh, anyway, if y'all uh, enjoy this video, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, I will catch y'all on the next video. God bless.